Today we are going to decide if shapes are cut into equal parts and we are also going to partition or cut shapes into equal parts. Now we want to make sure that all of our shapes are cut into equal parts like this circle here. The circle is cut into four equal parts, one, two, three, four. Each part is the same size and shape as the other. Over here we have a triangle that's cut into three parts. These are not equal. They're not equal because the top part is com a completely different shape than the two bottom parts. This one's smaller and these are a little bit a little bit bigger. So now we want to make sure that all of our shapes are cut into equal parts. I'm going to show you how to partition or cut your shapes into equal parts. Here is a triangle that needs to be cut into two equal parts. I'm going to with as best as I can cut it into two equal parts making sure my parts are the same size and shape. Right here I have two smaller triangles. Now you can try to cut it this way. But what happens when you cut it this way? That's right, you don't have the same shape. This is a trapezoid and this is a triangle. So this cannot be cut in the center. It has to go up and down to make two equal parts. Here, we need to make our rectangle into four equal parts. I have a rule for cutting and partitioning a rectangle into four equal parts. It asks you for four equal parts, so you're going to draw three lines. You always draw one last line for as many parts as you have. This has four parts, so we're going to have one less. It's three lines. I'm going to draw them as equally as possible. One, two, and three. Those three lines create one, two, three, four equal parts. Here we have a square tilted on its side. I'm going to partition it into four equal parts. I'm going to treat this kind of like a circle. And I'll show you the rule with the circle next. But I just cut it in half to make two parts. Now I have four equal parts. Now here is a circle. The circle needs to be cut into six equal parts. The rule with the circle is you take how many piece, equal parts you have and you cut it in half and that's how many lines you draw. So I'm going to do that right now. Instead of six lines, I'm going to draw half of that. I'm going to draw three. One, two, then I'm going to put one straight across to make three. Now, a computer could cut this equally a lot better than I just did. These parts are a little bigger. It's okay if you make that, make that mistake. It's kind of hard to make them equal. But if you wanted to make this eight equal parts, you could draw four lines. Here's my fourth line to make eight equal parts. Here's a rectangle again. Instead of four, now we have to make it eight equal parts. So that means I'm going to draw seven lines. Remember, one last line for as many parts as you want. One, this is hard, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that makes eight equal parts. Here we have a square that we can make four equal parts. It's kind of exactly like the circle. Again, I can draw two lines. One, two. For your homework today, you should probably use a phone or a tablet to do because you're going to need to make equal parts using your finger to draw a line. So just try your best to make your parts as equal as possible. You're not going to be able to type. Good luck!